Yeah, baby, Josh here with the Pride Productions back in UE4 with a 10th Minecraft-style UE4 tutorial. And we're going to talk about setting up the icons in our toolbar today. So if I all P this bad baby, you can see that our toolbars are empty. Now, obviously, I can, I can place blocks or whatever if I want, but we got all kind of stuff to learn. As you can tell, I've been toying around a little bit. But the point is, we talked about, we went to cubes, we got our, we did all this last week, right, or last tutorial, we, we set up our emissive materials that we're going to use. Now, we're going to make icons, so we're going to take snapshots. We're going to have to do several things in this tutorial to do it. If you have 2D software, there's a lot easier way to do this, but if you don't, and you don't know how to use GIMP, or you don't have Photoshop, blah, blah, I'm going to teach you a way to do it. Plus, I'll show you some cool stuff about texture coordinates, so let's get started. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to grab, I got the shape plane, I grabbed it out of the starter content, we got it right here. I'm going to rename it uh, uh, Icon Plane. Okay, that's going to be our Icon Plane. And what we're going to need is we're going to need a, and it's got a couple couple, couple, couple capital letters there, bro. But we're going to need a material for this plane, okay? I'm going to name a material, I'm going to name it uh, Black, okay, just Black. And we'll name it uh, Black underscore M because that's all it's going to be is just a big black, a big black thing. Now, the thing is, all we're going to do is we're going to go to where it says unlit or uh, default lit and set it to unlit and you're done. That's it. Because what we want is we want a black background and we're going to go to the shape plane here. And if you want, you can go and do it like this. You can click on it and go ahead and shit. Uh, set your black to be on the on the icon plane and then boom you got it you don't have to worry about it anymore now we can drag our icon plane out here now i'm gonna set this bad baby to be pretty big i'm gonna scale it i'm gonna set it up to about i'm gonna set it up to about 50 you know what i'm saying it's gonna be large and in charge you know what i'm talking about because i like them big sometimes sometimes i do okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna turn a little sideways like this i'm gonna set it up set it up kind of like under our map just for now and this is just for coding purposes and we'll keep it under our map you know what i'm saying because i always have the map if you pay if you haven't known this the map's always on zero 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 and that's very very specific at the moment based off what we're doing so if this is under here it doesn't really matter and of course this is just for this is just temporary anyway but we'll need it on multiple occasions so what we're gonna do is we're gonna save what we've done and we're gonna grab ourselves a camera a little camera, okay. You know what I'm saying. Now, what we want to be able to do. What's cool about this camera? And if you see, if it looks a little big, you can kind of, you can kind of like, you can, you can lock your camera like this, so you can see what it's doing. And like I said, you can kind of like zoom around, grab your camera, move it around, see what it's doing. Make sure it's pointing where you want it to. You know what I'm saying. Make sure it's pointing exactly where you want it to. Give yourself a little bit of room. Press G so you can see your camera. And all I want it to do is I want to make sure that I am like the the black is filling up my entire screen. Like I said, I got this thing locked here, so I'm gonna bring it in. I'm gonna bring it in. Boom! I'm right there. Okay, good. We're good. We're good, right? Now I don't have to worry about that anymore. I'm gonna keep it locked. Now, like I said, you can just stop looking at it there, and if you don't have it selected, you don't have to worry about it. But if you click on it, click that, you can go on and select other things, and it'll keep that screen up for you. Let's drop it for a minute. Okay, so let's uh, pull out our cube, right? What we're going to do is we're going to set up a little way to set up snapshots to where it's always the same size. We want to make sure they're always the same size, you know what I mean? So we're going to grab our cube, right? I'm going to grab our cube and we'll bring it out here. Let's let's set it in front of our camera. Let's get it pretty close here, baby. We're going to set up some snapshots. So let's set up a little snapshot. Y'all ever had a, a shat? A shat on? Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to our missive materials. Let's do grass first. Let's drop that bad baby on here. Now, if we click on the camera, we can see what we're doing here. We got to do a little better than that. So let's let's lock it now, right? And let's bring this bad baby into view. Okay, okay, okay. Now, now here's the thing. I don't, I don't, I don't really wanna. I don't wanna. I don't wanna curve the cube. I just wanna kind of turn it sideways about like that. But then what I'm gonna have to do is take the camera, bring it up. Bring it up, you know what I mean? Like, we're going to have to bring it up and kind of make it go down a little bit. So we may have to do a little adjusting, you know what I'm saying? Because I want it to kind of look like that. Oh, wait, wait, wait for it, wait for it. I kind of want it to look like that, bro. And that's good enough for me. I'm not going to be picky, but that means we got to change this bad baby a little bit. Let's let's make sure we got all black in there. Boom, you know what I'm saying? Now, what I want to do is, what I'll probably do is I'll name this. I'll name this. We can actually go to the camera here. It has an, I'm going to name it Icon. Well, let's make sure I can spell Icon Camera. You know what I'm saying? That way I know I have a, uh, a icon camera here and it's set over there and I can use it inside my blueprint because I'm going to use it from time to time. Now we have one more thing I want to fix. Okay, you, if you pay attention, we're getting some lighting issues because if I, if you know, you're, you're, you're seeing that it's getting really bright. Well, that's a post-processing thing and we're going to need post-processing anyway. Like I said, this is going to take, we have several things to do in this video and we're going to do it. Let's go back up here and we're going to set our, we're, we can unlock this. We can unlock that so we're not worried about it. Pull in a post-processing volume. Okay, we're going to have a post-processing volume here. We need that in our world anyway. Now what we want to do is we want to set that to infinite bounds and that basically just means you can see it if you scroll down you have infinite bounds on here so you don't have to worry about no matter where it's at 
But here's the main thing we want to do. We want to go to, because like I said, depending on where you're looking at, you see how that gets brighter. And then if I move out of the way, it gets darker again. And then it gets brighter and it gets darker. We want to fix that exposure problem. And if, if you've never noticed that, we'll talk about it later too. But this is something you can do. You can go to exposure. And again, I have the, I have the uh, post-process volume selected. I'm going over here. I'm going to the exposure here. I'm going to go to the min and the max, okay? Now you can, you can kind of set it to what you want here. I'm going to set them both to one at the moment, okay? We'll set them both to one and we're going to see what that looks like. Uh-oh. So about the one, okay? And we'll see what I think of that. Do I like that? Do I think that looks good? Let's click on my camera again. Let's click on my camera. Let's see what I think of one. Does, does one look good? I like that. That's a good collar. I, I, I like that, and that's what it's going to be, and that's what we'll do, okay? So we'll keep it at one. Now we don't have to worry about that fluctuation anymore, okay? We can close this. And now we kind of have ourselves a setup scene here. We click on the camera, and we can see what it's doing. But there's going to be a couple issues, right? We need to go to the level blueprint here, okay? We're going to do a couple things to make it to where when the game starts, we're literally just, and this is something that'll be coded that you won't do all the time. It'll be just for taking your snapshots. We're going to do an event begin play. We're going to get the, uh, the, the oh God, the, the event begin play. The event begin play, we got to get it and get the player controller. Yeah, that's right. Get the, not, not the player character. Get the, get the player control. Oh God. Get the player controller, bro. You got to get the, get the controller. Okay. And I want you to type in the word blend. Okay. You're going to see uh, set target with blend. Set, set view target with blend. I apologize. And what's cool now is what we're going to do is at the beginning of the game, we're going to tell it to view through that camera instead of ours. So we'll grab the camera. We'll grab our little icon camera here that we've named. Okay. And we'll grab that bad baby and just drag it into the world or drag it into our level blueprint. What's cool is that in the level blueprint, anything in the world you can just drag in we've talked about that and set it as your view target and we'll set it immediately you know what I'm saying and there you go now what happens okay you pay attention let's let's unclick our, our bad baby there we have this little scene down here if I f11 and all P boom we're looking right at that now there's a couple you're like oh god dude we got some we got some problems bro we got we got the we got the hood that's right you probably want to get rid of that and you may want to make sure that's completely straight you may you can decide if you want to fight with that now like I said there's a couple things what I would do personally and this is just me is you notice if the cube isn't actually like rotated correct you'll see some stretching so what I'm personally going to do and this is what you should do is set it back to where it's normal like this set it back to where it's normal like this and we're going to actually turn the camera so let's lock the camera Let's lock it. Let's lock the bad baby. Let's move it over a little bit. Let's move it over about right there. Okay. Okay. You see what we did there? I'm having a little trouble because my screen, my screen's real big. My camera screen's real big. Oh God. Oh God. We'll see what we want to do first. I'm gonna tell you right now, you wanna you wanna straighten up your camera. Straighten up your camera. I want to walk you guys through every step of this. It's very important. So we're gonna we're gonna bring it over here. Let's bring it down to where it's even with this bad baby and turn the camera to where it's kind of angling at a corner. You know what I'm saying? We got we want to make sure this is setting towards a the corner. Then don't worry, we'll 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 align our black screen again here in a second. Then we'll come up here. Then we'll come up yet. Yeah, now we'll tilt her down. Okay, see, boom. That's what I'm talking about. Now let's let's twist throughout our black screen there, and boom. Now we have ourselves a little screen. Let's look at it again. F11 all P. Oh no, I still got my thing locked, bro. I still have my thing locked. We can't. We gotta unlock the we gotta unlock the camera, bro. You gotta unlock the camera. You gotta make sure the camera's unlocked. Let's try that again. The only issue we have now is we have a HUD. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna lie, I'm getting real picky. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drag this thing down just a little bit right there. Nice. Now, here's what we wanna do. What I'll do is I'll go into the player, because we all have everything set up here. You know what I'm saying? We got everything set up here in the old in the old player. We'll double click here, and in the event begin play, we have this whole HUD thing happening. I'm gonna get rid of it, just for now. Not a big deal. So I've, cl I've, I've put this on, and I've undone this, and this is literally just for when we're creating icon pictures. So we're going to create a couple of these. And what you're going to do is you need to know something about your computer now. You need to, you're going to take a snapshot like you would any time. You hold the Windows key and press the print screen button on your computer, and it'll take a snapshot. Okay. So what's going to happen is I'm going to go here. We'll press Alt-P. Press Alt-P. Make sure this bad baby's out of the way. And I'm going to do the print screen button. Boom. I just printed the screen. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I have, I've got that one done. I'm, but might as well go ahead and do them both, bro. I'm going to go into my missive collars. Go to my missive collars. Here, here they are right over here. And yeah, I, I got, I got them all scrunched up, guys. And I'm going to take the brown. I'm going to take a little brown. You know what I'm saying? Do that. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm going to do it again. I'm back in there. Now, wait a minute. There's one more thing we need to fix, and I didn't even think about this. So stop doing what you're doing. Before you do anything, you're going to notice that there's kind of a little little white dot there, a red dot when we're playing. Now, that's part of the player HUD that's going on. And we don't really need that. We really don't. And I'm going to tell you how to get rid of that right now. It's in the starter content, like first-person blueprint. You know, if you go to the first-person blueprint, you go to blueprint, you'll see a HUD that's set up here. You know what I'm saying? And it's got a little tiny thing here for you. Dude, I'm just, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to delete that and it's gone. You know what I'm saying? And if you want to get rid of that HUD later, you can. 
So I'm going to take these snapshots one more time. So let's grab the grass, put it back on there, okay? And let's try this again. Make sure there's no red dot. No red dot. Nice. Okay, we'll take the picture. Snap. I did a little snapshot. Okay, done. And now let's get out of here and then make sure it's set to the dirt block. And we're going to have two snapshots, okay? So let's do this one more time. Now, make sure nothing's selected like that. Make sure you're playing the game so there's nothing in there. Everything looks good. Another snapshot. And boom, we have two snapshots, bro. Now, the thing is, you need to know where your snapshots are located. Usually it's in your computer and then it's in your pictures and then screenshots and then boom so i'm gonna go grab those now okay so i got my two screenshots in here i hope you've located your screenshots you got your grass screenshot here a little little stretched out and you got your, your your dirt screenshot now obviously the problem with that is these are big big pictures like that and we're going to need them to be scrunched up and if you look at them scrunched up they look like they're uh they look like they're kind of doing that and they're, they're stretching they're getting they're getting shrunk and i know that was a lot of work guys we had to go to the player we had to undo the we had to undo we had to undo this event begin play go into the level blueprint i know that was a lot you know what i'm saying but we're literally just setting up to where you can create icons and you already have a setup thing here whenever you want to and every one will be the same size so now anyway now let's go back to where i got my pictures here now here's the thing these icons need to be in the hud because that's where we're going to be so we're going to move them over to our umg folder right so now we have them in our umg folder and maybe we'll create a new folder here right and we'll name it uh icons bro we'll name it icons and we'll just make sure it's the same color boom you know what i'm saying and we'll set our icons inside the icon folder <laughs> uh -huh. now what we're going to do is we need to make materials based off of both of these okay now you probably want to rename these okay i'm going to name this one grass i'm going to name this one dirt let's do that now so I got my grass block icon and my dirt block icon. I can take the grass one, right click, and create a material. Boom. And it'll be the grass block icon mat. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you don't like that, you can go to the rename. And what I usually do is I want the M there. So I literally just get rid of the AT. And boom. And then we'll do the same thing for this bad baby. We'll create a material. Go over here. Make sure I get rid of the AT. And boom. So now I have my grass block material, my dirt block icon material, and my grass block icon material. And what we need to do is we're going to use these. If you go back to your UMG, UMG here, we're going to open up our, um, we got our, and we probably need to create another folder, but we're going to open up our toolbar widget, and we need to be able to place it in here. So what we're going to end up doing is we're going to go here. We're going to go to this overlay right here. We're going to make sure this overlay is selected. We're going to go into image. We're just getting this prepared here. Type in the word image and drag it in. You know what I'm saying? And size it. And we're going to name this. Well, for now, we'll just name it... Uh, um, we'll name it T1. It's named T1. We'll just name it T1 Icon. Is that what we'll do? Yeah, well, let's name it T1 Icon. Okay, so that's what that's, that's going to be. And we'll name it. We'll have a, a T2 Icon here soon, too. And if you want to go ahead and drag that in, boom, do that. Have that bad baby right there. And you'll see that it's in the overlay as well. And we'll name this T2 Icon. Okay, so we got our couple icons that are ready to go in there. Now, all we need to do is create our little thing, because if we play the game, and again, now that we're done here, now that we're done here, what we can do is we can go to level blueprint, and we can we can delete this. But what I would do is I would keep this over here, maybe put a little, oh, well, don't worry about the big play, but just kind of keep this over here. And what I would do is I'd comment, do a little comment, um, uh, icon shot, you know what I'm saying? And then I'd probably... I'd probably change this thing like it's purple. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I mean, it's just kind of a little thing over here. I keep over here in the corner just in case I need it. You know what I mean, brah? Now, right now, we're not using it anymore, but we're, we're done with it. We got this set up. But now, if we press the play the game, it'll send us back into the map. But, but we need to en enable the hood. Enable the hood. Enable that hood back, bro. Go back to the first person character. Open that bad baby. Plug it back in, okay? Compile and save. And let's, let's make sure we got our HUD working again. We do, son. It's broken now. But obviously, you know, we're not worried about that. We got to put the the icons in there but now it's time to make those materials so let's go to the hud let's go to the icons we have our materials and we have our textures Let's do the grass one first, bro, because we got a little bit of work to do. Let me explain to you. This is gonna be a little tricky. We're gonna learn a couple texture coordinate tricks, so here we go. So as you can tell, it always jumps in like this, and this is going to be a user interface material, but let's not do that yet. But let's go ahead and make sure that this opaque, this opaque here is set to translucent. Somehow it's scrolled way down there like a like a hummy. Like a homie, bro, we're going to need that and that. We're going to set this to plane, right? We're going to set that to plane so we can see what we're looking at here. And as you can tell, it's very, very, uh, it's, 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 it's shrunk on the sides, bro, because it's actually, a, it's like, you know, a 1080 by 14 or 1440 by 2160 picture because I took that size. So we're going to need a couple, we're going to need to do a little work. Now, again, if you can do this inside of a, um, 2D software, it's a thousand times better, but if you don't have the, the, the way of doing that, I'm, I apologize. But we're going to grab a texture coordinate and then hold the letter A and get an add node and then hold the number two, okay? And plug that in there and boom, plug that into your UVs. Now, this is where it's going to get interesting because we're going to stretch it and then after we stretch it out, we're going to need to add it to center it. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to set this to maybe, uh, let's set it to 0.5 and let's see what happens. Now, you're probably going to notice that the picture goes a little too far. Let's set it to, let's set it to 0.7. 
You know, it's just, it's kind of just see. It needs to be a little bit more now. Let's set it to maybe like a 0.6. That's not bad. See, I like the I like the size of that block. You know what I mean? Now, again, if you want your block to be a little bit bigger, that's understood, too. You need to zoom in a little further or whatever not. That's, 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 that's your choice, and you can toy around with this as much as you want. Now, what's cool is if you wanted to zoom in, period, you know, like I said, like, let's say it's just too much. Well, let's say, well, let's, let's, let's say we said this to like 0.5 and 0.5, okay? Well, now we're going to be a little closer to the block, right? But we're going to need to, we need to center it. So, like, let, let, let's set this to uh, 0.5. Watch what happens. You'll see that it moved all the way across there. So, set it to 0.25. Okay, well, then let's set this to 0.25, okay? Well, it brought it up in the middle. It's a little crooked, but it's a little bit bigger, right? Okay, so now let's stretch her out. So, that's 0.5. Let's set this to 0.3. Okay, so we got a 0.5 and a 0.3. It's kind of the right size now. It's taking up most of the thing. I like that. So now let's center it up. Let's set a 0.2. Let's set this the 0.25. No, no, 0.3, bro. Do a 0.3. Let's center it up real nice. You know what I'm saying? How about a 0.32? And now we're just kind of toying around. We're centering it up the best we can. We're just looking at it. It can go up a little, a little more. 0.33 will probably be pretty, pretty middle. It's pretty middle, but it's a little high. So how about a 0.23? We're going to drag it down a little bit. A 0.22. You know what I'm saying? I'm kind of looking at this too, seeing how centered it is, you know. And you get to decide, decide how you want this, but just keep these, keep this, you know, keep this math here. What you need, you know what I'm talking about. Now, what's cool about this is we can kind of, we can see a couple things here if you want to, like, uh, if you want to click on your picture and double click on it here, you can see what the red, green, and blue channels look like. So you have what the red would look like, okay? You have what the green would look like, and you have what the blue would look like. And obviously, the green is the more powerful. Now, there's a couple ways to do this. What we're going to do is we're going to alpha this out and keep the rest of it. But we'll notice we'll have a couple issues possibly based off the top of the image. And you may not see that just yet, but let's see what happens. Let's grab maybe the green and let's seal it. You know what I'm saying? Let's, let's seal that and then let's look at it and see what it does, okay? That's actually pretty cool. That's actually not too bad. Bad. So let's let's take a look. Let's let's put it in the opacity, right? And let's see what happens now. You're gonna notice that we got a little bit of a black line, and you're like, oh man, I, I don't like that, bro. It kind of looks funky. And you can move us over here, and you got a little bit of a black line. And you're right. And I apologize. You know what I'm saying? You 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 got it. But we zoomed in, and what's cool about where we zoomed in is we got rid of some of that outside stuff on the top and the bottom, and you have that. Now, if you want that to be brighter, you can obviously do that a couple ways. You know what I'm saying? But remember that this is this is changing based off of what's going on. Now that black line may drive you crazy and I understand if it does but here's the thing once let's go ahead and take this material let's say we're done with this material right we're done with it yeah it's got a little black line around it, it don't look great but the point is we have an image let's go open up our HUD again go to UMG let's go to the uh, toolbar widget here and inside this image that we have let's go back to our back to our icons here grab the one we've created go back in here and set it to be that first one okay uh, and you can tell it didn't work and I'm gonna tell you why and we probably should have all known this but it needs to be a post process or not post process but a user interface thingy so plug this into that thingy make sure that's plugged into opaque you know what I'm saying and now that's what it looks like and you're like hey that looks better well there's a black background so don't let that fool you so let's go back and let's look at it and let's see what it looks like on here let's look at it that's not bad that's not that's not bad I mean look at it that's not that's not terrible it doesn't look bad what we need to do now is really cool I mean honestly there's two different ways to do this this is how I would do it I would probably I would open this one too you know what I'm saying I'll open it go ahead and open it you got the material here let's drag it out of the way let's drag it out of the way let's go back here and let's go back wait 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 let's go back right here and just control C control V all of this over to this okay but then all we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of that material and put in this material right here you know what I'm saying? Plug that in right here. And then, and then, wait, 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 wait. Make sure this is set to user interface, bro. Pl oh, God. Oh, God, translucent. And plug that in opacity. Plug this into fill collar. And you have yourself a dirt block. And obviously, you would take this dirt block, make sure it's selected, which is the dirt. And I know it, may, it doesn't, it gets a little scary sometimes. You go into this part and you go to this material. Or you go to this, uh, go to this little box and plug in your dirt block. So now I just want you to take a look at that. Do you have a little black line around it? You do. Do you, does it look 100% magical? No. But I will tell you this. When you're playing the game and you're in here like this and you're all peeing, you know what I'm saying? You run around your map. That doesn't look bad at all. You know what I mean? You have your grass block here. You can place them as wanted. You got your dirt blocks here if you scroll your mouse wheel or press the number two because we got the one and two. Remember, we already coded all this stuff. But there you go, guys. That's how you can create some icons. Now, the more blocks you make, the more icons you're going to have to create. So I can't, I can't stress more that you need to keep this little setup down here or move it or set up another level and just set it up and you have a little thing here and at any point in time you need to take a picture all you do is replace the texture on um, an emissive version of the material on the block 
go into your blueprints. And I know, like I said, this is a lot of work, it may seem. Put your event begin play, plug it in there, go back to your first person character, turn your HUD off, that way you don't see this bar. And then boom, you're, you're ready to go. Take another picture and then do the same thing here. And then inside your icons, you'll have inside this folder, inside of our icons folder, you'll have your texture and then you'll have your, uh, your material. You have your texture and then you have your material. Now you're thinking, why can't I just plug the material into this thing right here? Well, we haven't set up any opacity on it. So it would be that. And you can see what that would look like. So if I just grab the grass block or the dirt block and I go over here and I just click that instead. So I go to this one right here and I plug it in. Boom. You can tell that that did work, bro. We had to, we had to do a little math. But what's cool about that is you know now. You can take a texture coordinate, zoom in a little bit, right? We zoomed in by using these values, and then we corrected it by adding a two vector, a vector 2D to it, and kind of set it, and again, again toy with it, make it make it look your own, and then you just take the opacity where you've zoomed in. Now, if you don't zoom in, you may still have some outside stuff, because check this out, check this out. You got some stuff up here. You got some stuff going on up here, bro, so you need to make sure you can zoom in a little bit to get rid of that. So make sure, remember, we zoomed in. If we weren't using this bad baby, like if it wasn't plugged in at all, and this was just nothing, you would have a little stuff up here, and then look what happens. You got this little stuff right here, and then it's not taking that out. I mean, just, just remember all these things. Now, again, I want to say this one more time time guys i hope i taught you some cool tricks some things you can do with ue4 here and, and and obviously obviously we got our we got our icons in here and we'll, we'll set them up later obviously we don't know where they're going to be in our little toolbar here i am pointing at the screen again like a dumbass oh oops it's too late to say that but I, the point is the, the thing is you can't just you can't just you, you, you can't just put icons in your box because what's going to happen is as we collect blocks, it's going to fill that up. But the point is at least we have it to where we have the icons and they can go inside here and we'll change this later how we want it. But guys, I hope you learned a little something about what you can do with texture coordinates when it comes to correcting certain images if you're ever having any issues and you don't know how to use 2D software. And again, a really kind of cool shortcut slash long way of creating snapshots. But again, you don't have to move anything now. Anytime you want to take a picture, you just drag whatever new material like if you got stone or brick, you just slap it on there, bro. Slap it on there. Slap it on there. Keep taking snapshots. Make sure you know where to locate the screenshots you're taking and then drag them into UE4. It drags them right in. You can import them. You know what I'm saying? You can import and go. And I got a bunch right here that I've taken. Or you can, like I said, you can just go to your wherever you have them located, your desktop or whatever, and uh, drag them in there. You know what I'm saying? Just drop them in here, no problem. But guys, anyway, I hope you learned a little something. I know that was a lot to go on, you know what I'm saying? We've learned a lot of things. We're going to be, uh, that was a really, really kind of confusing tutorial, and I apologize. But for anybody who needs to create icons and they wanted to know how you could do it in UE4 kind of simply without having to download some $10 you know, icon maker that they have on the marketplace, which to me is like, you can do it yourself. You, can, you, you literally know how to do it yourself now. Don't do that. Don't buy an icon. Create your own little map here. Put your, put your block in there set up a camera and then use your texture coordinates and, and and there you go now obviously one more thing i want to say is if you could do it in 2d or if you a 2d photo or like a photoshop or gimp or something like that you could get away you could get rid of this black line because it would be a transparent black background and we've talked about transparent backgrounds and materials then you would just mask out that transparent background and you would have a perfect image but if i may just say one more time guys can you see the black line i can and it's fine it, it's it's fine we're just trying to replicate this the best we can but hey the blocks look good i think it looks good you know if you want to be bigger bigger or smaller that's you i like them bigger you might not you might be scared of it i'm not i like them big and that's that's the end of that so guys again thanks for watching josh here with deprived productions a 10th minecraft tutorial we're about to uh, really really make some changes i'm not gonna lie our terrain is about to take a huge change but based off how we've coded it we're about to really change it because we've learned some things and we're going to talk about deleting blocks and we're going to talk about cubed based worlds next which is really coming up soon because if you pay attention now i have it kind of set up to do this you got grass on the top and dirt on the bottom well that's because even the air are cubes here but i don't want to talk to you about that just yet because it's on the way bro it's on the way guys thanks for watching love you miss you we'll see you next time go subscribe to the youtube channel hope you learned something i do apologize for being such a long lengthy and kind of tedious tutorial i really do but i wanted to teach you something we are in the minecraft thing and again i just just don't don't hate me for this there are much easier ways of doing this with the right software but if you don't have it if you don't have it, this is definitely a way to do it until then. You know what I'm saying? It's a cool way of doing it. And again, I hope you learned something about how texture coordinates work and how you can kind of cor cor correct correct some of your images. But guys, love you. Miss you. You guys are great. Thanks for watching 10 Minecraft tutorials down. And we got some really cool stuff coming next on it. We'll see you in a couple days. Peace.